Hi, welcome to MTG. I'm Ashley, and today we're here to waste our wild cards on meme decks so you don't have to. And this is another stream that I chopped up for, for the old YouTubes because I was like, I don't feel like recording by myself in the vacuum of loneliness, so let's stream <laughs> and record gameplay. Uh, hopefully that's relatable. Uh, but <laughs> we're rocking Gissa, uh, the glorious resurrector or something like that. The one that basically when a creature dies, uh, that's an opponent. That opponent controls the creature is exiled, and then you get a decayed token copy of it. And it's pretty fun because I feel like it's kind of like a mono black theft a little bit, which is similar to, I guess, the deck that I put out earlier in the week. So I guess I was in a mood just to do weird attempts at stealing what my opponents are trying to do. And it was a lot of fun. And thank you to everyone who joined in on the stream for that because I don't know, makes it makes it more entertaining. I will have the deck list in the description below. Not doing a deck tech for this one, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Make your opponents, you know, sacrifice creatures or destroy their creatures. Try to make decayed token copies of it and then go with your typical mono black win cons with drain effects and graveyard shenanigans. But yeah, hope you enjoy the video. And yeah, I'll see you out there. Atraxa. Atraxa. We're probably going to want something with more direct removal, right? I do like Preacher. Bajuka Bog too? I do have Baj Oh yeah, yes, Bajuka Bog is in there. So I think we have like four or five pieces of Graveyard Hate, thankfully. Um, so here's the thing. Is I do like the idea of getting Shieldred and having Preacher out, but I want to have removal in my hand to deal with Atraxa. Which now we kind of do. I'll keep that. Scrabbling Claws? I'll have to look that one up, Snafu. I don't remember what that one is. I don't recall. I don't recall. I love Growth Sworn Prowler, though. It's such a fun, I don't know. I don't know if a lot of other people play with this card, but it's one of my favorites. I don't know if that makes it like a pet, uh, pet card or anything, but it just does silly things. It makes me happy. I like that you can use it as sack fodder and it still draws you a card. Death Touch is a pretty good deterrent. Ooh, Yenna. Interesting. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Um, well, let's go for the bonk and see. Yeah, most people, most people don't want to block it, but at least it got that little, little chip damage. <gasps> What's next, friend? They don't have their blue source. <laughs> Interesting. Let's eat this friend. Num num num. I want to just keep my death toucher around for another second. Nummy nummy num. Oh, ooh, black market. Okay, we're stonks in now. We're stonks in now. My turn. Okay. Ooh, and shielded. Um, so if we put in Black Market, we can still blow up Atraxa if they do hit that blue source. So I'm going to put in Black Market. And then we'll leave up the removal for Atraxa. And then I don't think they'll attack it to my Guild Sworn Prowler. At least that's the hope. Doubling season. Duble season. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's blow up you. Because we're not into, uh, into Dublaze. Sorry to tell you this. Bloop, bloop, bloop. All right. Ooh, and Dark Ritual. Hmm. Arena has decided to bless us and curse this arena. <laughs> this attracts a player. <laughs> We're hashtag blessed. Okay. And then still have removal up for Atroxa, so we're doing stonksy. Yeah, no. Oh no. I spoke too soon. Medium stonks. We'll say lukewarm. How's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll have enough for the inner sun, which if y'all didn't know, one of my favorite cards. Ooh, but yeah, let's do the inner sun. Here comes the inner sun. Do, 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 do. It's all right. Watch them just play Omniscience. I know they don't have the blue mana, but I'm just waiting for that because it's a trap. So. Uh, that's what should play every time. Here comes the inner sun. No! 
let's walk the report card. Sorry, I just had to take a moment. I had to take a moment. It's on every day. It's on every day, friends, that you get blessed with your favorite card, only to have it quickly taken away. Let's draw a card. More removal. I love that. Get rid of something over there. I guess I could have. No, I couldn't have attacked. I have to tap the sacrifice, that dude. Alright. Ooh! They got rid of that. That's spooky. That's a scary card. Oh, we'll just draw a card. I don't think we need the treasure. I don't need treasure when I got you all hanging out with me. Um, so this says, whenever tax you can pay for, return target creature card. Oh, I see what they're doing. What if, hear me out, friend. What if I said, no. What if I said, no, thank you. Boom. Draw a card. Look at this synergy. Y'all hear about that synergy? Y'all ever hear of them synergies before? They are not hitting their blue source. That's not good. I kind of feel bad whenever that happens. Okay, now they have their blue source. Helmst ever. Now I don't feel bad. Because it came in with doubling season. And that sometimes is why you just ult first. Okay, more land. We got Shieldred. Nummy, nummy, num. And opponent scoops. I guess we didn't even play our commander once that round. But to be fair, they weren't playing it. I guess they did play a few creatures. To be fair, I didn't play my commander. How's that? <laughs> That's how that sentence should end. <laughs> Thank you all for still wanting to be around me. <laughs> like, That's such a weird thing to say. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I like these cards. How's that? There's my logic. JSpace75! Oh, cool, what's up? Mono black, nom nom nom. Yeah, that's a solid way to describe that. Solid way of. I don't know. I just wanted something that felt more like a me commander. And I was frustrated with trying to get Yuma to work because I tried to make Yuma kind of work like my commander paper deck, and it doesn't really line up as well in Arena. So I need to retool it, but I was like, you know what? I just want to make a Gissa deck because I really like doing kind of the thefty effects a lot. So you see me playing like Demir decks where that's kind of my main shenanigans there. Let's just blow that friend up. I didn't like them. I didn't have to do that. I felt like it. So get out of here. Uh, watch me, I'm telling you, I have 39 lands, right, in this deck. Watch me cutting one land means that we start struggling to hit our land drops. Because whenever I have a deck in Arena that doesn't have 40 lands, I literally will just not hit my land drops. Okay, I lied. I lied. It's, not, it's working now. I don't know what happened. Maybe the latest update, they decided I was allowed to have lands. I don't know. Okay, I lied. I lied. Okay, I didn't lie. I just didn't expect this to work out so graciously in our favor. No attack. No attack. Is there a deck list for it yet? I have not exported it, but uh, I can pull up the deck list after this because Snappyu, I think, had a recommendation for Scrabbling Claws, so I can try looking into that as well. Ooh, Blood Artiste. In case you're feeling artistic today. Ooh, Dusk and Dawn. Mm. Mm. I'll take the damage because I have confidence that, you know, we'll have the ability to deal with it. Yeah. Okay. Ready for this? Boom. They're probably going to get rid of the Dusk Legion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. I call it card draw, baby. I know they're gonna bonk us back for probably a decent amount, but you know. Yeah, no. Why not? 
When in doubt, YOLO. Ooh, a Johnny. A journey, as some might say. Seafood play, a journey. That's French, right? Seafood play? Don't worry, it's sarcasm. I'm not that ignorant. <laughs> Ooh, sneaky, smart, cool, synergy. Love it. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. So, destroy. Destroy. What? Let's, let's, uh, let's go to combat. No, we can't go. No attack. We'll do it this way. Ready? Because that's not a legendary creature. I messed up, friends. I got two two in my head. So we're going to destroy non-legendary creatures. I skipped past combat when I should have done this, but I was doubting myself whether or not I wanted to do it. So y'all got to experience that roller coaster with me. I, lo I hate slash love that card invoke. Yeah. I think it was winning like a lot of standard tournaments. So yeah, I should have attacked, but it's going to be funny because now I'm going to have a planes card and I don't know what that's going to look like. Other than being pretty basic. Ooh, and now we're gonna get some clues. We're gonna like totally get a clue. Turn back while you Ooh. Okay, ready? Boom. And do we have enough to do all the things? Yes. Blood artist. Because we're feeling artistic. Children. Sick. They're gonna sacrifice their canonical friend? No. What are you sacrificing? Ooh. What do you do? No, uh huh. -huh. Okay. Let's see. Alright. Boom. Oh, I forgot. Johnny is their, uh, their commander. Okay, Johnny. All right, all right. Interesting. I haven't run Invoke in a lot of decks other than like mono black decks, I think. Ooh, it's got flying. Look at that, friend. You ever think about how you can just fly? You ever try to fly? Black market seems good. Uh, what do we want to do, friends? We want to do a lot of things. But are they the right things? Because this removes counters. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this. And we'll send this here. Yeah. And see if they take the trade. That's not respecting our life total at all. Let's do Preacher. <laughs> uh, activate this ability. Okay, we hit a land. Yeah. Okay. It's not the worst. It's not the greatest. It's something. Something, friends. Abyssin's Pilgrim. Okay, okay. But this removes permanents from... One target permanent, right? So we could remove all loyalty counters in theory, right? Could be wrong. I'm no math magician. Ooh, branching evolution. Okay, I mean, we're mono black, so we don't have a lot in the ways of removal for that. Ooh, fun. Okay, eight, eight trampoline. Champlain. Other Johnny. Seems good. Seems lovely. Ooh. 
their wandering friend. This is like definitely a scary planeswalker. Oh, okay. I don't know at this current moment in time. Let's go here. So we're gonna attack here. And then we send send you here. You here and you here. Right? And then we remove all counters from you. Right? That makes sense? The other thing I was thinking is like crux of fate and shenanigans. Okay. Yep. ability. Whoop. Whoop. Blow up you. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the right play, friends? I think so, right? Let's put this friend in. Okay. Play and drop. Put in this friend. Okay. Is that, is that smart? Did I think with my thoughts? gonna probably hit Marchesa. Mm -hmm. I think that's an acceptable loss. Is what you get for hurting my people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then next we're gonna get everything from all the graveyards, assuming they don't have like farewell or something, because when Shieldred goes off. But maybe they're digging for that now. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Let me know. Okay. I know there's a hero okay. Each opponent discards three. Oh, 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 oh. oh, we're gonna get some stonks, baby. Uh, let's get my commander in. And is this is a cultist. You know what? Why not? Let's draw. And we're gonna send this, because we get planeswalkers too. I guess I'll bonk you and bonk you. That Elspeth has really hung on for a while. <laughs> so let's hope they didn't get the enchantment removal because Shieldred is gonna get all the cool stuff for us. Okay, the triplets. Okay. Show me what you got. Okay. Ooh, great merchant. Oh, ho, ho! that that was pretty cool. <laughs> uh, that was fun. Fine when you get like shoulder, it's like Saka to go because it's like I don't know. You just get all the things. You're rich. Doo -doo -doo. I don't think we can keep this. But I do like sometimes putting like Kaya's ghost form on things like Grave Lighter. It's kind of funny. This could be good. We are playing against Joda. So having like a board wipe and stuff like that isn't a bad thing. We have Grave Path. Yeah, let's do this. Get out of here, Graveyard. Get out of here. Do you think uh, Gessa is like a S tier commander here? Mono white, mono red, and Boros? Yeah, those are fun combos too. I agree with that. If I'm being honest, I probably kept this just because of the Chamil. <laughs> I don't know why I love this card so much. I think it's just because it adds to like the randomness of like whatever you can get. Ooh, Essica. Stonksy. Um, in turn, panic. It's kind of weird whenever I see this cast as like a mana dork instead of the prismatic bridge. 
practice joins up. Okay. Alright, alright. Jace reawakened. Were you sleepy before? What you waking up? Ooh, why has he got like... Oh wait, isn't that his Phyrexian form? I forgot he turned into a Phyrexian for a hot sec. Uh, we'll do this. Uh, do this. And... Oh, are they blowing her up? No! But I wanted card draw. They can sense the sadness. Can you sense my sadness? Lately. <laughs> yeah. Jace face. Oh. You know, sorry, Jace, if this is a uh, if this is difficult for you. You love enter the battlefield trigger combos. You've been playing them around around a lot with them. Oh, yeah. The I usually love like Azorius type decks, but I feel like my friends don't like the Azorius decks, so I have a tendency to take them apart. Boop. Board wide. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we can get the inner sun. You always thought it was Jace mixed with Ashiok, but it could be a Phyrexian. I mean, I haven't paid attention to the recent lore. Like, I think I stopped after All Will Be One because I was like, that was kind of peak. That was really exciting, scary stuff at the time. But it does kind of look like Ashiok. Oh yeah, because there's like a, a cowboy hat thing. I have no idea. Y'all know more than I do. Let's do the inner sun. Here comes the sun. Do oh, I got buried treasure. Twitter. Buried treasure. That's what I should say. Then we can probably get Gissa. You stopped after the first Exxon, so no idea. <laughs> so, the lower. No! you've ever seen every time my favorite cards get blown up. They're about to pull. Oh, Nor. Oh, Nor. Can we pay? Yeah, we can pay. Do, 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 do. Do, do. No fun for you. Get out of here. Can't believe our inner sun's gone. What am I what am I supposed to sing now? LOL Jace, I am actually really Jace and not named after the planeswalker. <laughs> well good to know. Is it weird to have a similar name as like a character in like a random series like this? Because I feel like if I was at a game store and people were like Jace and I'd be like, what? Double take. Because thankfully there's like no cards named Ashley. There's some stuff that's like Ash, you know, adjacent, but um, let's do Grave Pack. Let's do my commander. Okay. The Massacre. Yeah. We got so many massacres. We got this massacre. We got this massacre. I'm Squidward. He's Squidward. You're Squidward. I've been told that's how I can tell, like, or people can tell I'm a millennial are my Spongebob references, or it's just really my references in general. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Hey now. Hey now. I'm gonna need you to chill, Joda. Getting a lot of vibes. Getting a lot of, a lot of uncool vibes. Like, like your deck is good, you know? Yeah, it's weird, I bet. 
I would definitely be doing like a double take. <gasps> oh, no. I think we're gonna lose. Unless I get like another board wipe. Uh, I watch a lot of MTG streams, and if I'm not looking at the stream, I think someone said my name. <laughs> yeah. I could totally see that. Like, Jace, I'm right here. something, you know? Just to feel something. He's Squidward. You're Squidward. Yeah, mixed up a lot during the Viking set draft. The creature Carter versus my name Carter. Oh, yeah. I could see that too. Yeah, it's very similar. I'd, if I was, like, at the table with you, I'd go out of my way to go, like, corridor. Like, something that would sound, like, really off from Carter. <laughs> corridor. Oh, no. Okay. What is this? Oh, I'm trying to see what that card is. Irith of the Healing House. Hmm. Their healer. Yes. This is rough. This is rough. I didn't think if so was Jodo worthy, but here we are. This is it just because I'm like so good at magic? <laughs> Don't answer. Uh, unless I think we get a board wipe, we're kind of dead. Ah, mm. oh, this isn't a board wipe. The arena gods were not like this. No arena. Oh, a land. Get out of here. I want to discover something. What do we discover? Ah, Prowler. Okay. We're still going to die. It's okay, Jody. You still won. Um, if they don't dirtle, they won't scoop. But if they're going to dirtle, Scoop because we got other games to play, my friends. Are you dirtling? Sir. Just attack. Attack. They're dirtling. GG's. I just could have attacked. Or Dragon Commander deck back in the day. Yeah, like if you have it for typo or even non typo because there's been a couple of times I've like matched up against a dragon deck and I'm like, so sorry, I have the perfect removal spell for you. <laughs> a one sided board wipe that's quite cheap. Uh, what does the Skisa do? The Skisa does if a, an opponent control. Hold on, let me read. I can do this, I swear. If a creature and opponent control would die, exile it instead. At the beginning of your upkeep, put all creature cards exiled with this commander onto the battlefield under your control. They have decayed. So it's kind of like a roundabout thefty type thing. It's like theft theft with extra steps. But also like not as good with uh, the decayed factor, but sometimes you get stuff where it doesn't really matter. So, boop. I was looking for a card draw here. And if we hit our other land drop, we can always do Ravenous and do other shenanigans. But this, oh, sweet. See, we hit our other land drop. Land drop. I know, I love it when it works out like that, for sure. Ooh, that one, nice. Yeah. Have you played with this one, Bruni Man? Also, hello, ET Dubs. I think Innistrad, like this Innistrad set, had so many cool cards. And it was funny because for a while, like, they were pretty cheap. And I don't know if part of the hype was just because everyone was obsessed with, like, uh, the Meat Hook Massacre or something. So. I think what I'm gonna do is the Ravenous Chupacabra. We're gonna do it to the Monastery Mentor. 
just because I know how scary that card gets. And then I think right now I'm just going to go for the bonk because we do have some other like removal-y type things. Okay. Okay. So, again, this might feel weird, but this is what I'm thinking is Deadly Dispute this. And I guess I could have attacked first, but I got too caught up in the cool stuff I'm doing, man. If I was big gamer brain, I would have attacked first for the damage, but, you know, sometimes you just get caught up in the fun stuff you're doing. So for future people who want to call out stuff in comments, I know, I get it. It's a video game, it's fine. We're all here still. Whoa. We're in a village, right? I've made some annoying decks with that chupacabra. Yeah, I mean, they're just a cute little guy. Sure, they don't have a nose and their face is slightly rotting, but they're a cute little guy. He's all old. Right, let's stop now. Ooh. And now we have a way to do other stuff. Look at that. Don't counter my favorite guy! They're gonna counter. I know they're countering it. <gasps> oh, they resolved. Okay, we're good. We're gonna do fun stuff. Yeah, y'all. We are popping off now, friends. Okay, this is good. I love this. Faithless looting. Faithless loot, 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 looting. We're here for the faithless loot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I don't know. Sometimes I just start randomly singing. Um, and that's just how my brain fills in space, I think. Okay. There's no covered swampy poo. And let's get our commander in. Let's, like, play the name of the game, y'all. Yeah, no. And I guess ramp. Ramp. Well, it's not really ramp because it's not going onto the battlefield, but we're making sure we hit our land drops. We're gonna bonk base. Take names. But most importantly, bonk the base. Ooh, okay. Why not? They can't counter it. Can't counter it. <gasps> Dwayne! You asked favorite color combos. I think the most fun I had was black green. Nothing like generating sapperlings to feed your lord of the pit. Yeah. You can't go. I mean, that's a pretty fun card. The, uh, what do you call it? Golgari. Did they know they couldn't counter my stuff? Or were they just trying to get card draw? They might have just tried to get card draw. I've done that before. And we're gonna get a buddy. I wonder how that works with Decade. If we like try to flip someone. Right? Because we can pay two life and three mana. Should we try that? Let's see what happens. Activate ability. We'll pay the life. Auto pay. I have no idea. Oh, it still has Decade. That's cool, though. I don't know what else to do. Do you just want to hit face? Let's hit face. Because I feel like these are all things we want to cast later. And then our sit probably need. Ooh, I love this. We're hitting all my favorite cards. Bro, you can't counter my stuff. Read my card. You can't counter my stuff. Maybe they're trying to draw cards? Is that what's happening? That has to be what's happening, right? You love sapper lanes? Michael, Michael cloth for the win? Why are words hard? Oh, yeah. You were playing some Narset in Lane Exile earlier today. 
Was that a positive experience? Sounds like maybe not. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Hee 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 hee. Yeah. That was all I wanted you to watch. You can look away now. Okay, they took their extra turn. Oh, wait. <laughs> Are they just okay with trying to lose? Okay. Okay. Because they have to win this turn. Is there some infinite combo here that I'm not seeing? Chat! Is there an infinite combo I don't see? Help! Off? Resolve? Or are they just trying to go out on their own turn? Hello, friend! <laughs> Is that Fala Hammer of cookies, candy cookies and something because YouTube's blocking the rest of your name? Hello! I'll call you Valhalla if that's okay. Because that's a username. <laughs> Haste or as some say hoste. Um okay. Jump. There's a lot of triggers just happening now. Okay. Resolve. Resolve. Okay. Arcane Signet. Resolve. Resolve. And I think we pretty much got it. Done Pyromancer. Duh. Okay. <laughs> Bye. That lined up. Uh, to be fair, ripped Oko is when I realized I might actually be by but too much I'll drain packs after that. LOL. You know? That's fine. I don't know if I've said this coming out story. <laughs> might not be able to see my tattoo. But I have um, Garnet on my arm and a lion and that's from Steven Universe for those of you who don't know Steven Universe. But when I heard uh, Garnet scene, like, here comes a thought. I was like, that was my, like, moment of, like, I'm ready to be out. So, Steven Universe has a very special space. Same with, uh, Adventure Time. Like, seeing Marceline and Princess Bubblegum. I was like, it would be nice to have a relationship like that. So, that's how, you know, I felt comfortable coming out. And then, literally, like, a month after I officially came out to, like, some friends was when I met all of my future wife because we're engaged so there you go hope that's some fun story for y'all some some uh mtg lore for you and i hope my slurping of my drink isn't obnoxiously loud <laughs> oh and if those of you on youtube are enjoying the stream would you do me a favor and just like it because it helps with that old algorithm. That's really sweet. Thank you. I appreciate that, Titanic. I appreciate it. Oh, we're playing against... Oh! Oh, this is fun. This is going to be a cool mutate deck. It's not like you don't draw a card. It's a cute... Oh my gosh. Uh... I'm actually scared of spiders, IRL. Find them quite spoopy. Quite spoopy. Cause look at those legs and those teepees. It's funny cause a couple of times as like a parkade, <laughs> I've had like my boss be like, can you go wipe the spider webs or like deal with the spiders? And I'm like, mm, can I not personally? <laughs> can you send anyone else to deal with the spiders? Please and thank you. Ooh, that's fun. Well, this kind of makes me want to make a toxic version of that. No? 
Yeah, no. Let's put my commander in and hope that we can survive another round. I think we'll be fine. I know last time I got my guard down and I thought, I'm not scared of these squishy mono white little dorks and then they all got anthem boost and killed me. Y'all? But we have this friend. So I'm hoping this friend will come help us out. We're gonna take another toxic bonk, but I think that's fine. I'm not scared of the one the one damage. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're fine. So far I'm really liking this deck. Sometimes it's not all about like the fancy big cards, but when people do like creative little shenanigans like this, though I am very biased towards mutate decks. Fun. Oh, fun. That's cool. We're gonna put this card in. And again, I'm getting another poison counter, but I'm not super worried at the moment, but we'll see. That's awesome. Glad you're happy. Thank you, Jace. Ooh. This must be a toxic deck. Why'd you have to be so toxic, toxic? Is that Jordan Sparks? More millennial references for y'all. Get out of here. Ooh. Attack. Boom. At least we get another bonk. Another bonk. Baleful mastery to deal with more shenanigans. I'm feeling. I don't know if I should be feeling good, but I'm feeling kind of good. Roaches and spiders make me act like a baby. <laughs> and yeah, I get that. Like roaches. I think the what's gross about them is they're just crunchy. <laughs> I don't know if that's it makes y'all feel good about life to say if something's crunchy, but you know, that's where we're at. Spoida. Spoida. Ooh, Lolf. I love Lolf. Duh. Um. Mm, let's do Lolf. Because I'm biased. You know? I could have done the removal. Probably would have been the best strategy. Best to read, read. I'm gonna do this. The best strategy. Drain, baby, drain. Alright. And I feel comfortable actually just attacking here with the commander because, like, they need the Mirkwood Spider to mutate on in order to hit me back and gain life. So if they don't have another creature card in their hand, it's gonna put them in a tough spot. So I'm okay with kind of like putting that pressure on them because we do have the means of recasting our commander as well. And no. But I was just thinking for stonks. Stonks money. Bugs, no problem. They are homies. Reptiles and snakes, though, sends me back screaming to a four-year-old. Look, I'll handle like the the lizards, the geckos, the the snakes. But you just gotta kill the spiders for me, my friend. My friend, no. Uh, like when I see a spider, I get like a sweat mustache. And I don't know if it's like a, a creepily crawly legs, you know? I truly don't know what it is about, like, just spiders in general. Um, well, this makes vampire tokens. So I'm kind of feeling that, you know? I'm feeling the vibes. There are no cards in hand. Okay. And then we do this. We'll have each opponent sacrifice. Yeah, it's a non-token. A non-token creature. Get out of here. Get out of here. Make a Rob Zombo. Make a token. And let's draw a card. Because why not? Land. Alright. And let's go. 
Uh, let's hold back AR just in case they have like a board wipe, and that way we can sacrifice something. Dinner's ready. Yeah. If you're okay with that. But thank you, Olive. You might have to see me slurp some noodles on the stream. This must be a toxic deck. Honestly, this is inspiring me. I kind of want to go make something with that commander. Maybe we can do that after a couple more games. I just want to get enough games for uh, the recording on Wednesday and kind of pick what are the more interesting ones to watch. Uh, I don't know if this is just getting mean, but. Okay. Draw card. And drop. And we'll just go attack. Gee, heck and G's opponent. I like your deck. Big block 74, cool stuff. Husband? Oh, we're playing against Toidle. It's Toidle time. I'll keep it, why not? Toidle time. There you go. Ninja Toidles for you. Also, the latest Ninja Turtle movie, I think it was Seth Rogen that directed it. I really liked it. I don't know if y'all watched it. I've been kind of marveled out, but I feel like um, Ninja Turtles doesn't count as Marvel right now. Who are you? Chen, Betray Control. Oh, hmm, that's cool. Oop. Sweet. Vengeful String. The Strangler of Vengeance. Did you ever just think about being a vengeful little strangler? Why he's so vengeful? Because he's on fire? This strangler's on fire. But when he dies, stronger. What if I... What if I... That seems really good for them. I should blow that up. I was thinking I'll just kill like the goose, but in comparison, that card's gonna do like way more valuable things for them. I don't know anymore. This strangler's on fire. I think that's how the song goes, right? Oh no! I am not but an elk. This uh, has become an elk. Just, oh my gosh, just a cute little crab. Do we think about crabs? Hmm. Or is that just me? Do you ever think about how cute they are? Especially if they're in toidles. Little toidle crab. Oh, did they leave their commander in the graveyard on purpose? This commander's in the graveyard on purpose. I'm gonna try to draw a card. No, they took the damage. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh, her was good. Do you think they did that on purpose though, chat? Hmm. I mean, there are ways to get stuff out of your graveyard in, the, in green, but... Sleeve card. Oh, it's just you. What do you mean, just? It's the me. Play me. What are you talking about? What are you talking about over there? No. Sleep, what are you talking about over there? I get, I get, I get, I get weird neckbeards bullying me. I don't need my friends bullying me. I had a, I had a dude, no joke, say make me a steak. Like a make me a sandwich type thing. And I went, isn't that just a, a tired trope? Isn't that a tired trope? I don't need friends bullying me. Let's go! Let's go! Oops. Deadly dispute. We're gonna eat our commander because we have no other enchantment removal. Uh, this old man needs to go to bed. Enjoy the stream. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out, Dwayne. Appreciate you. You feel attacked? You have a beard? Good. You should. Because I literally had men make terrible sexist comments to me so now i'm gonna call you out for being mean 
<laughs> it's my prerogative here. You gotta support me. <laughs> In or around your neck. <laughs> I'm at the stage of like the content creating part where it's like, I just wanna psychoanalyze people where I'm like, if you're making these comments, do you wonder why you're alone? You know what I mean? Not you sleep, but just like people who say mean stuff. It's like, why do you, why do you gotta go out of your way to be mean to people? I don't understand. Here's my rant. Here's my internet rant. Like, just be nice. Life's already hard. Life's hard. Why you gotta be mean? Is my new brand intro. <laughs> Gonna call you out for having a beard. <laughs> yeah. I gotta, I gotta call myself out too, because apparently I can grow one now that I hit thirty. <sighs> okay, they're sacrificing, so I should gain life, right? Vein rip. Oh no, they escaped. They had enough. This girl is on fire. Ooh. Okay, okay. Can we do this? Can we do this? No. This? No. Can't be greedy. I should be responsible, right? Or no. Let's do this. I'll be greedy. <laughs> greed. Greed, greed, greed. Six in the air. Y'all. No. Boom. And then I think we would invoke despair, hoping to get shenanigans from these guys, right? And then win with like Ben Reaper, Bane Reaper, Ben, Bane Reaper. He said he had a lengthy one about using Kindred in conversation the other day. Nothing but class in those comment sections. Oh, I believe that. People are wild. Like, it's not hard to be respectful, you know? Just like, if, I guess the way I see about like, it's the same thing, right? Like, if you use pronouns, if you use kindred, it takes like zero seconds of effort for you to like try to say something to make someone else feel more comfortable and safe. I just never understand like the people that are like, blar, I'm not gonna do that. It's like, just make people feel happy and comfortable, you know? So I'm glad you're having those discussions there, um, Sleeve, because it's not easy, especially in a space where like, <sighs> you're trying to make like content because not everyone kind of understands like the impact of like how small things like that can make a huge difference for people. That's why like, uh, so far, like my coworkers have been saying, like one of my bosses doesn't like people wearing like pride stuff during pride month. And I'm like, you know, doing that stuff is like, cause he thinks it's political. And I'm like, it's not political cause you're making people feel seen and safe in those spaces, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm rambling here, but I think like, just doing things to make people feel comfortable and safe when they haven't felt safe in spaces is super important. So I think all those conversations are important. You should only acknowledge the good comments and put energy into those who like what you do, the key to the success of, in the channel. Yeah, I agree. There's a lot of people who are very positive and nice. I think it just gets hard sometimes because it's just like, ah, you know? Because it adds up over time. And I think like, Yeah, I think that's just what makes it difficult is like, um, you know, you try not to let things like that hit you, but it does after a while. And it, I don't know. Cause you like, you put like hours and hours into something and then when people are salty about stuff, you're just like, I spent like six hours working on this. Can I have some love? <laughs> but that's a good point. Focus on the positive and don't be uh, upset about all the negative. I hear you, I hear you. Okay, ready? Ashley getting positive now. Because we're about to get some friends. Ooh. Friend 
shit. Okay, ready? Watch this. We're gonna blood on the snow. Destroy all creatures. And I think we went through the drain. Right? Unless they counter. No. Wait, we can pay the two. We can pay the two! Oh, wait, they didn't die. <laughs> we'll get Gessa back, I guess. Or no, we still got it. We still got it. We got it. Yeah. Sorry, tree friend. Or wall? Wall defender friend? Crocodile elk turtle. Sorry. We, sorry, we had to do it. 